So what we're gonna do here is called a RAD system. RAD stands for Rapid Ascent Descent System. So I'm gonna use a clutch for this. And for my belay, this is called the uh, ASAP. And this is uh, allows you to climb up and this is gonna mine itself as we go up so I don't have to have someone else operating a belay for me. So first I'll put this onto my chest. This is a hand ascender. It's another mechanical rope grab, kind of like the um, rope grabs that you guys have uh, in your caches, except it's specifically designed for climbing rope. So I'm gonna put this onto my rope. That grabs there, just like that. And it's got a couple foot loops already rigged up on it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put my belay onto my other line. It'll tell you exactly how to orient it. It's got a little arrow that says up, and it's got a little lock, unlock button right here. It doesn't really matter if it's locked or unlocked as I'm climbing, okay? What this is gonna do is it's gonna slide up the rope, and then if I fall quickly, it's gonna catch, just like that. And if I fall really hard on it, then this lanyard is gonna extend so it reduces the fall factor on me and the force on my body. Once I get to where I'm going, I wanna make sure that it's unlocked, because if it's locked, it doesn't allow it to come back down. And I want it to come back down with me as I'm descending. But right now, I'll leave it in the lock. Unlocked orientation. Got that in. I'll go ahead and load my device. All right, so I've got the clutch. I'm just gonna leave it in standby mode, right? I don't want it all the way locked off because then I'm gonna be fighting against that friction. So I'll just leave it in standby so I can move through. I'm gonna sit down into my clutch, put my foot loops on. These have two loops. You could put one foot in each. Uh, everyone has different ways they prefer to do it. I prefer to just put it into one of my feet and then I bring my other foot on top of it, okay? Now I can just climb from this point right here, okay? The clutch is my progress capture. I can slide up my hand ascender, stand up, and pull into my clutch just like that, and it catches me. I can continue to do that. Or, if I want, I can take another carabiner. This is called a Petzl roll clip, okay? It's got a little pulley on the bottom of it. I can take this guy and put it into this loop on my hand ascender bring my rope up and come through here and that is gonna make it a little easier for me to pull on that rope right there. As I'm going up, I need to watch my belay device. If I just kind of climb with it over my shoulder, that'll help to remind me as it sits over my shoulder. Eventually, once there's enough weight on the rope below me, it'll start to mind itself better, but in the meantime, I need to make sure I'm always moving it up. When I'm climbing, I don't want to have my arm over the top of it like this because then if I do fall that's going to catch me. So the really nice thing about the rad system is real quick to set up, real quick to move in it and if I, if I want to stop and work I'll just lock off right there and then if I want to change into a lower and come back down all I do is pop out my roll clip Take off my hand descender, and I can just rig that onto my harness somewhere. Just let that sit, and I'm already in a position to descend. And I can just repel back down. This is where I want to make sure that my ASAP is not locked, right? Right now it's unlocked. So if I lock this, right now it's locked. Say I mess that up, and I try to descend. That's gonna catch me. Now I'm stuck on my ASAP and that's locked. And now, in order to get off of that, I have to come back up my rope. So I gotta get my hand ascender back out. This back on my rope. It's pretty, still a pretty quick and easy fix, right? Make sure I'm in standby here. And then I can stand up. 
so I've got that slack off. And then to get this to disengage, I'll switch it to come out of the lock. There's just this little switch right here, okay? And then I'll bump it up and then allow it to come back down. Then if I wanna come back down, I just take out my hand descender again, re-rack, and repel. Okay. Pretty simple, simple and easy. Way easier than the Purcell Prusik. Um, it's not a great system for climbing a really long distance, but it'll get you a, a good little distance pretty quickly. Uh, and especially once you get to a position where you're gonna be working, if you have a patient that you're picking off or something like that, it allows you to move up and down to negotiate around that patient very easily. Questions?